is asking for a reset, Your Honor. Why? Um, I... Yes. Uh, he's he's involved in a class at the at the jail and would like to complete it. It's a, a form of NA uh, that he is involved in. Um, we can proceed. And he's also asking to speak to the court. All right, we can proceed, and then he can speak to the court. Could I have a uh, file stack for motions to revoke, please? All right, court is calling 2021 CR 7311, State of Texas versus Paul Zapata. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Alice Jackson. Defense. Angela Blake. And are you Paul Castillo Zapata II? All right. Did you review the document entitled Motion to Enter Adjudication of Guilt and Revoke Community Supervision with your attorney? Are you the same Paul Castillo Zapata II who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2021 CR 7311 for the offense? of assault, family choking, strangulation on January 25th, 2023 for a period of six years. Is that you? All right, State. Uh, yes, Your Honor. We're proceeding on violation of conditions of the two, the honor about the 30th day of June 2023 in Bear County, Texas. The defendant, Paul Castillo Zapata II, did then and there illegally use uh, marijuana in violation of condition number two. How do you plead to that? True or not True. And we are waiving the rest, Your Honor. Any objections? No objection, Your Honor. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number two, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, sentence you up to 10 years in prison and up to $10,000 fine? Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number two? Um, may I repeat the question? All right. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number two, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, and sentence you up to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number two? I don't want to lie, so. <laughs> All right. So you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number two? I can't hear you. Is that a yes? All right. Is there a proposed agreement? Yes, Your Honor. There's a proposed agreement to uh, revoke and adjudicate. Uh, we're recommending that he be given two over two, Your Honor, and that he also be added for inpatient treatment. All right. And what are you requesting? Your Honor, we're also requesting uh, the same to revoke adjudicate him guilty, um, sentence him to two years, TDC probated for two years, and that he um, attend uh, treatment. Um, he has a request for outpatient treatment, but I've discussed the case with him, Your Honor, uh, and the situation was that he had been involved in outpatient treatment. He was unsuccessfully discharged from the outpatient treatment. Um, and then, uh, I guess, Failed to appear at probation. We would just request again that the court uh, give him treatment. Um, and my client would also like to address the court. All right. Do you want to raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony uh, you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you, God. All right. You can lower your hand, state your name for the record. Paul Castillo Zapata, the second. All right. What would you like to say to the court? I was just going to add to the for the reset is just to complete the class, which is rim class. Uh, no, that, that ship has sailed. Okay. Um, All right. Do you want to start by telling the court why you are using marijuana, knowing that I could sentence you to prison for 10 years? Let's start there. 
let's start why you are not participating in your outpatient treatment. Transportation. No, there's something called the via bus. I used to take the via bus, so there's no shame in taking the via bus. When I took it, I think it was maybe a dollar or two dollars. I'm sure maybe it's gone up to three. I don't know, but you can take the via bus. So transportation, that's no excuse. So why are you testing positive for marijuana? I just had to smoke. I'm sorry? I just had to smoke. Yeah. And who are you living with? Um, a friend. All right. So what is marijuana coming to you? Do they do a door dash? How does that work? Um, it's an area. All right. So you were able to find your marijuana, but you can't go to probation. You can't do your outpatient treatment. See, when things are important, you treat it like it's important. So obtaining your marijuana was very important to you. It was not, but I did do that. No, I mean, it was important because here's the thing. You're looking at 10 years in prison if you smoke marijuana. And guess what you did? You weighed that and you said, huh, 10 years in prison for smoking marijuana. Hmm. I'm going to go with the marijuana. That's what you did. And then not reporting for your outpatient treatment. Not reporting for my outpatient treatment and blaming it on not having transportation or 10 years in prison. Let me not report for outpatient treatment. So I'm going to give you a choice. You can either do three years at the prison or either I'm going to keep you on deferred so the full range of punishment is available to the court. And you're going into inpatient treatment. There is there will be no outpatient treatment for you. And you're going to sit at the jail until they take you to inpatient treatment. So which do you prefer? Uh, inpatient. All right. Court is going to deny the motion. Alternate main conditions to include... Uh, probation, do you think SADF is best for him or ISF? Judge, the recommendation is for SADF. All right. So that will be SADF. Do you have any children? Not at the moment. What do you mean not at the moment? What does that mean? I'm not sure if uh, the friend that I have is pregnant by me or not. So when you say you're not sure if she's pregnant by you or not, is she currently pregnant and you just don't know if you're the father? Yeah. Or, ah, okay. So I'm going to order 100. Oh, there's already 240 hours of community service restitution that was previously ordered. I'm going to order parenting classes. And do we still have AIDS awareness course? All right. So here's the thing. The reason why I'm suggesting AIDS awareness course, it appears that you are engaging in activities with someone and you don't even know if you could be the father. You know, they have different STDs now and people would always just think AIDS. Well, you know, that'll be with you forever. Herpes. Okay. That'll be with me forever, but they have treatment for it. Well, now they have something called super gonorrhea and there is no treatment for super gonorrhea. You have super gonorrhea. It's like, good luck to you. We have no medication for you. It's uh, resistant against the antibiotics that are now on the market. So you just be walking around with super gonorrhea until you dropped. Oh, yeah, but you're, you're not thinking straight. You're just out here having intimate activities with people and smoking marijuana. And now if this child is yours... They're going to have a father who has an assault family choking strangulation case and who sits around all day doing marijuana. You had better start making some changes. Uh, probation, is there anything else he needs? No, I do want to make you aware there is that AIDS awareness program. All right. So we're going to do AIDS awareness. And there's going to be proof of employment.
within 30 days of release. When's the last time you worked? The day uh, the day I was working. And what were you doing for employment? I was working at the, the temp service uh, for them. I was doing a construction cleanup. All right. So there's employment within 30 days of release. No employment as a home health care provider with minors. I'm going to want field visits one time per month for four months. And I'm going to want the UA hotline until further notice. Uh, anything else, probation? Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? Uh -huh. All, right. All right, we can go off the record. Here's the thing. From here on out, everything you do, you need to ask yourself, could this result in me potentially going to prison for 10 years? If the answer is yes, don't do it. If the answer is maybe don't do it. This is Texas. According to uh, probate, probation guidelines, I didn't set these rules. The legislature said it. You are not allowed to smoke marijuana while you're on probation. You are not allowed to drink alcohol while you're on probation. You say, hmm, alcohol is legal, not while you're on probation. So if you're sitting at your house chilling, you are not to drink alcohol at your house. Because if you test positive for alcohol, a motion to revoke is going to be filed. If you test positive for marijuana at your house, a motion to revoke is going to be filed. And these people that you are hanging around with who think it's okay for you to be using marijuana, you need to cut them loose. And you know why? Because they don't care about you. Because they cared about you, they would say, hey, man, you know, I know we usually sit back and smoke marijuana, but you're on probation. You're looking at 10 years. We shouldn't be doing this around you. We shouldn't tempt you. If they cared about you, that's what they'd be saying. But they don't. They're like, eh, he's an adult. Here's some marijuana. You have better change. You understand? All right. Good luck to you.